Bueno, en el lado rojo, ayer se volvió loco y destrozó a su rival, el campeón mundial de la temporada 3, Impact. Y para el equipo hielo, a veces el amor duele, es Love. Caballeros, tengan mucha suerte. Now this one is going to be interesting for me because I feel like Klilov is such a kind of plagued player. Even in the Lee Sin, like all, <laughs> yeah. all uh, one for all match, he was kind of struggling, lagging behind. Isn't really known for his mechanics, but he's yeah. still here, you know, in the second round. And he beat Bjergsen, right? Yep. Like so, this is all people, yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's something where these guys, even though there are differences, the differences are not big enough that if you make a mistake, the other person can't win, right? And Bjergsen did make that mistake. He capitalized on it, and, and going up against Impact on paper, that should be a lot easier than Bjergsen was. And it also kind of confirms there's this you know, hypothesis that one v one's all about mechanics, but a single decision made at the right time will outweigh any mechanics to outplay it. You know that is yeah. also why certain players seemingly uh, that are seemingly weak are just much rank uh, much highly ranked in solo queue for example because if you know what to do you can put your opponent in a position where no mechanics can get him out of that yeah i actually think it, it's much more about intelligence within reason right if these two people one person doesn't know how to click his buttons obviously yeah. mechanics are going to matter but i mean within this realm of possibility it, it's much more about intelligence do you have the right build the right strategy do you know when you will win the fight and, and a lot of times, these guys don't, right? They don't have the experience. They're just here having some fun. And other people are taking it super, super serious. You know, we know Reckless has been grinding 1v1s. He wants to win this. Yeah, and he has the training partner in Soas as well. Kulov does a good thing here, though, banning the Asso. That is a super annoying champion to play. If, like, that goes into the nitty-gritty of mechanics whenever you play with the Asso. <laughs> Right now, they're hovering. Guys, remember, if you are just tuning in, there is a giant, massive screen next to these guys, so they can just glance up, see what the opponent actually has selected, and which runes and masteries he's running. They can also talk to each other in-game. Yeah, and it, some of these players will agree to just play a mere matchup, and they can be pretty fun. Varus versus Varus could be, be kind of interesting. You could also just probably just come down to CS. Can be boring. Yeah. They can't, like, they can't actually see runes and masteries. I'm wrong there, but they can, they can see uh, which summer spells, rather, that they're using. And Impact, to, to talk a little bit about uh, how he played yesterday, he actually played against Mouse, and he was actually able to tower dive Lucian <laughs> as the Olaf, take him out with last possible swing before he died to, to it, and oh boy. Oh, be interesting. Urgot! <laughs> I love Urgot, dude. I am so happy whenever an Urgot gets into the game. It takes me back to like the good old days. Champion is so fun to watch, however, I think you, we may have a similar conversation here about mana. Yeah. I ran out of mana. Zix is so mana efficient when it comes to pushing. That's the thing, is it's like, great, you hit your E, you better get all those Qs off, or you're not going to do much. And, and Ziggs could just drop his satchel, wash away. That's so easy for him. You can jump yourself away, you can knock him away. And honestly, the biggest problem here for Urgot is range. Mm -hmm. Like, Ziggs never has to get in range of you. So Ziggs can go for CS wins, he can poke you out, try to force you into bad trades, bad positions. There is still that ghost. Uh, on the side of Klyov. I don't know if he changed it. We'll have to check once we get into game because I, I feel like Ghost yeah. on Ziggs is a bit of a lost summoner. Yeah, I, I mean, he had Ghost, he had heal. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not sure if he is going to actually stick with that, but... Because the range if, is pretty... Once the E is applied, say, like, when do you want to pop Ghost? Only when E is kind of applied mm -hmm. already. You're not going to Ghost out of a flying E anyways. At that point, it might be wiser to just walk up to him and exhaust him. Yeah, I think, honestly, if, if he is going with those summoners, he's 100% just going for a CS win. Yeah. Like, he's basically just saying, I'm going to run away when you run towards me. I have heal to survive any all-in. Uh, and it is going to be exhaust barrier. So super yeah, defensive better. masteries makes more sense than, than that heal, I do think, and, and the ghost. Uh, but still, I think it's the same principles that are going to apply here. I do think we're going to see Clear Love trying to stay back. And we were researching Clear Love's runes earlier already, and we looked at the pages like, what the hell is this going to be? It's ability power galore, 26 in total, flat armor, but then attack speed out of nowhere on like a mage. It actually shows you that he's like, he was ready for Ziggs. This is the champion that he wanted to play. This isn't no reactionary pick here. Now look at his match history as well. No Ziggs game either. So he was hiding this pick very, very well, uh, showing some Rengar and some Eve in his like match histories. And, but he may have, I think he's, I think he doesn't have masteries. Oh no. I think he legit forgot to build masteries. He has zero pages active. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, that, clear love. that is unlucky. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That is very unlucky. And clear love, you talked about his unfortunate streak. <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently it continues. We'll see.
uh, if it's going to come into play or not, if he's going to be able to make do without it. But obviously, not having masteries is a pretty insane disadvantage if we do have that right. All right, let's see what he does then. Uphill battle if yeah. it's true. Yeah, I mean, I think going for CS win then uh, becomes kind of more the only option, but it becomes much more difficult. You don't have a mono regen mastery. You don't have really much. <laughs> you don't have anything. No, yeah. no, no, no Tunnel Lords. There's no mana regen. There's no Green Fartus Gift, which is super strong on Ziggs, especially... Especially on this map, right? Yeah. Where you can non-stop just be jumping in and out. And it's the only mastery on that tier that's really going to do much for you, so... Impact actually... Uh, had a quick glance at his runes. He's running mana region on, on his blues, uh, on six blues. 2.0 mana region total. It's a page that some supports tend to use. He'll need it because, as you'll see right here, that trading pattern is going to be costing him quite some mana later on. Yeah, I think that's actually really smart. And, and on these champions that have relatively low cost abilities like the Q and stuff, uh, even just a couple of those mana regen blues can make an insane amount of difference. All right, we just got confirmed he has Thunder Lords. Okay. It was just a glitch in the system. Yep. Refresh the page, thank god. Okay. He actually is running a page. This is really good. Still, I, I'm a little bit interested to see that he is actually going to be going for Merciless instead of uh, the mana regen talent. So he's four points in Merciless there. And look at that trade. But I just don't see you really winning the fight by killing the Urgot. So to me, you'd rather have the mana regen. You'd rather stay back, be able to have the additional wave clear. Uh, but there is an argument for both sides. I mean, you need to keep some threat uh, at least. You know, If at one point you can never fight back, if this guy oversends to the mean wave, you need to be able to punish him. Uh, he I mean, probably has good rally control anyways, and may just build more doors. Yeah, so we will see if, if the mana does come into play, but still, obviously, there's arguments on both sides. I just think 4% extra damage under 40% HP is not worth being able to spam out a couple extra spells, right? Oh. You know, if you hit one extra spell, one extra satchel, uh, that can be more than the difference there. Yeah, definitely, if it's kind of a death of a thousand cuts. Really good connection here by oh, Impact the Ignite. Too. Good barrier. Nicely timed, just not enough. That should be final tick. Yeah, clear up lives. But he loses the zone and the base timing, and he's already behind in CS. If Impact had enough confidence, he actually maybe could have got that last auto in there, but it's really risky because the turret was there. He would have had to wait for the Ignite burn. I think if he could play this again to Impact, he would have exhausted, so he yep. could stay close enough to get that final auto. But remember, there is still that barrier oh, that wow, could have soaked more damage. I think the tier is a little bit silly. I mean, yes, it does have that mana regen, but I'd rather honestly see build something else, like even like a Forbidden Idol or something random like that, just get a bit more mana regen that way, because this feels like this is something that is not going to be as useful right now. Uh, I'd rather see an extra Dorans, things like that. It just um, gives you, I'm, it gives you good mana stats, though. Like, yeah. it allows you to do so much. If you need to, like, unload a full mana bar on the Ziggs, Philip has shown that he can't even be competitive in trades. Like, the Ziggs counter damage is not big enough, and this is just... Impact's wheelhouse, and the beauty of Urgot as oh, well, that wow. he can poke so much while freezing a wave. Because yeah, spells will true. not really draw the aggro for him. See how it does work out. If he did just have 700 gold, I mean, there's not really a, a great uh, buy that he could grab there, unless you want to go Doran's Longsword, Doran's Boots, something like that. Because uh, Boots can be pretty effective. You can get in range for the E. It uh, can be pretty big, and, and he's able to just keep playing. Yeah, he's going to go here with the slow from oh, W. in trouble. Dilov has to run. He should exhaust him. Oh, okay. So that's really important on Urgot. When you connect, you really want to get that slow uh, applied from when you pop that W. Keep clear off in range. You are walking head first into Zeke's spells, though. It's yeah. very easy for clear off to answer. And on level 6, there is more damage that comes out of clear off than impact generates. He needs to kind of swap for the resistances as he sees the bomb coming. I think that's the correct play to do. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, with, with that ultimate, it's flat damage reduction now. You know, it's a percentage damage reduction. That on top of uh, the exhaust is going to nullify so much of the mm -hmm. damage. And uh, we have seen, uh, it seems like, oh, this would never happen. But you could swap them into the turret. We've seen things like yep. uh, in the Smeb game, right, where we saw a pull mm -hmm. onto the turret, end of game. The same thing can happen here if Clear Love kind of slips up even for a little bit. Or even if you can swap him into a cannon wave of yours, for example, and make him fight you there. The cannon retaliating could be the difference in a fight. Yeah, definitely very important. But at this point, it doesn't look like we're getting any fighting. Impact really just parking the wave in the middle of the map with a soft freeze. This will eventually push out, but it'll take a long time. And every time he gets close, oh, he here he goes. In. He got six first. That's an exhaust. Good satchel blocked out. Impact still whacking away here. Good Q connect. That should be it. He needs one more Q. Oh, Ooh. he got the barrier out though. Thankfully enough. So Clue Love. Oh, oh no, he no, walked back in. in. The E dot takes him out as Impact wins again. And that was scary because if the poison didn't burn him down there, he might have been too close to the turret. Yeah, he may have just kept on walking. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just run it down mid. 
Run, uh, Impact, run. Yeah. But Impact comes up big again and with a non-traditional pick, wins yeah. on the Urk.